Hello and welcome to the north of England. We're here in sunny Doncaster for a Barry Potter toy fair. Yes, it's a Joe and Gav challenge. Oh, another challenge. I'm going to beat him this time. I'm going to win. <laughs> but Doncaster is home to lots of famous people. Oh, Diana Rick from the Avengers. Of course. Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear. <laughs> Brian Blessed. Gordon's alive. Yeah. Louis Armstrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Louise Armstrong, the feminist author. This is Louis Armstrong there. <laughs> you fool. Come on, let's go and buy some toys. <laughs> oh, it's an Abba Party race night, yeah. Roll out the red carpet in my eye. Oh, dear. I'm here filming. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get in the wind, man. I go big. <laughs> Thanks, mate. So here it is, the rematch. The rematch. <laughs> Two men, £100 each, and a toy fair. Yes. Let's see who can make the most money. Are you going to cheat this time? Oh, I did not cheat <laughs> last time. And you know what, Gav? The embarrassing thing is, <laughs> even if I hadn't supposed to cheat, which I didn't, I still would have won. So, you know, just saying. There's no one in yet. All empty tables. Slim pickings at the moment. We had one of these in the shop. Oh, they're lovely boxes, aren't they? Oh. There he is. Ooh. We've been asked about these loads lately. I'm a sucker for a Johnny 7 one man army. We've got one here now. Tony's informed me that there's a few issues with it, but he's informed me that it's a very good price. What is that price, Tony? 250. 250 pounds. Original box. It's all about that box. Can I have a look at the box? Is that all right? And if I've got longer rounds. <laughs> yeah. Nope. No good for a short box. Thank you very much. So Topper made some amazing toys back in the 60s. And this was sort of the pièce de résistance. This is the one that you, you ordered from the catalogue. You wouldn't go to many shops and see this in, or if it was, it'd be one in the window. This would be the, the best toy in the shop. And if you wanted to go home with the best toy of the shop, your mum and dad would have to pay up. So a lot of these, I actually know a guy who got his repossessed. He got it for Christmas and by the March it got repossessed by the people from the catalogue because his mum and dad couldn't afford to pay it. But yeah, it's got no inner. But you know, the outer's there. It's just a question of, I've got a better Johnny 7 than this. So do you get a Johnny 7? Add it to this. I don't know. Don't think it's quite there. It'd be good for the shot, wouldn't it? I don't know. In my heart, I'm going, I really should buy that. Just for the shot, but I think no inner kind of kills it for me, but it's such a cool thing. Johnny Seven, one man only. What a toy. Oh, look at all this film and TV diecast. Oh, look at this beaut. Signed Adam West. Oh, very nice. To Robin, Adam West. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? That's a lovely item. So tell me, how much does one of these go for? 500. 500, that's, that's all right. That's not what I expected. But yeah, that's a beautiful item. Not one you see very often. No. It's early doors, but I've spotted something. There's some nice stuff on this door, so I think it'll be priced about right. I don't think I can get this for it. Put it this way, it's either a lot of my budget and I, it's, you don't want to go too early or it's going to be all my budget, but you never know. Tony, can I ask, how much is the Android? 100. 100? Is the Android in there? No. All right. Just the box and there's ah. a few bits. There's the Android head, a few hands, but if you've got the Android figure, Perfect. Good, good, perfect thing for some weight, isn't it? Yeah. That's awesome. Let's, can, I, can I have a look, Tony? Is that all right? Thank you. Well, we've got a pair of legs. Head and partial arms. But a hundred pounds. I think that's really good. Dennis Fisher, Android. A series of three figures came out in the UK. It's Cyborg, Muton, Android. Android's the one you want. He's the best one. He has his core, his chest opens up, he fires these green missiles out. He's amazing. But yeah, 
100 pound that's a bargain for someone if you've got an android because it's it's an expensive boy now that but i haven't got an android and it's all my budget so that's going back on the shelf for now now at the moment this place is pretty much completely empty but at the click of a finger and now it's nearly full there's still people coming in it's not even opened up properly yet hi mate all right sir. hi mate you're all right <laughs> Dagobah playset. So it's kind of a weird thing, isn't it, the Dagobah playset? The foam's always perished, and the foam generally it's just turned to mush. And these go on there, you get the levitating effect of them. But it's all about the little tube. There's no tube. How much is that? Um, we're looking for 150. Mm. Mm. It's cool. It's cool. Not for me, 150, but it's cool. I'm trying to scope out the tubs as they come in the door and follow them in if it looks good. Not much so far, though. Dave's hanging around a store. Why are you hanging around a store? I'm just waiting to see what turns up, mate. All right, okay. Yeah. What have you seen that makes you think something's oh, good? I saw some up? Star Trek stuff. I'm a bit of a Star Trek guy. Actually. Okay. <laughs> look to see here. That's lovely. Chad Valley, is it? Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. I think I've got 35 on that. Oh. Yes, yeah, so even got the old uh, Canadian flag illustrated on bottom. Yeah. So they changed it. Same. It's got a tattoo like it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a look? Is that sure, all right? Yes, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Chad Valley, tin plate, plastic, globe. I love a globe. It's just something lovely. But the problem is it makes me want to go on adventures. So my wife doesn't like them having in the house because I get there, I look at them and go, look, we could drive there and work out a path. So it's, yes. But I think it's, I think it's about right. I think that is quite reasonable, actually. But I, I wouldn't want to buy it. I'd want to buy it for me. So, I'll have a think. I'll have a think. It's early, isn't it? It's early. I keep telling myself it's early. You found anything yet? No, no, yeah. I'm looking for that early doors thing. You know, when you get somewhere and there's like got a load of railway on the table you, underneath, and got a load of snow, something like that. That's what I'm looking for. Something that shouldn't be where it is. So under the tables, things like that. You know, I'm hoping to find some railway. <laughs> what are you like? Hey, up, Mel. How are you doing? Right, Can I have a look in box. this box? Yeah, I've seen box. something I like the look of. Oh. Well, I would ask you how much it is and what's it missing, but it's on the front, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, Mask Outlaw, one of the better mass vehicles, one of the more valuable mass vehicles. The figures are quite desirable on their own. I think that's quite a good price, that. It's a really good price. The problem is, if I spend that for the show, I haven't got it in budget. So, I don't want to leave it though because it's nice. It's come home with me. Come back to my shop. Let me have a quick look inside. It's got the original inners, or original inner. Lots of bits and bobs. We have to check with mass stuff. And Mass always go really hard and brittle. They don't look too bad. Bit of a stress mark on the one of those, but that's all right, you know. Hmm. Now then, it's eighty-five pound. I don't really want to negotiate on that. I think that's really good. But for the show, I can't spend 85 quid in one fell swoop, can I? Can I? Can I, Matt, can I? You're not helping. No help whatsoever. Mel? Yeah. Did you start interested in that one? Yeah, I'm interested in that one. Yeah. What, what, else, what else is the Mel? You said that in the way of like, <laughs> I know there's Firefly, Buzzard, Vampire. Oh, another box of fun. Oh, 
this, is it? I don't want to squash that. Put that on there. Put it on trains. There you go, they're quite solid, aren't they? Fire cracker 95, that's a good price. No winners, though. Jackhammer. No mask. Ooh. Wonder if it's got the bombs. No bombs. 79 quid though. Yeah, bombs do normally go missing. They're quite expensive, about 15 quid each if you want to go and buy some. So I don't want to spend 30 quid on that. Major Matt Mason. But this is one of my, I love this. This is such a cool toy. Such an underrated toy. Marks, Mike Hazard. He has. He has got the wrong jacket on. He's got the wrong jacket on. It's a dragon, yeah. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's just an amazing toy. Wrong jacket, amazing toy. <laughs> and he's got loads and loads of accessories. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, he's so cool, man. I love Mike Hazard. It's one of those sort of spy figures, and he had so many accessories. They're all quite breaky, but yeah, he's really cool. But that, I can do something with that, Mel. Yeah. Whether I'm buying it for the challenge that we're doing today, whether I'm just buying it, right. I'm buying it. Yeah, okay. All right? Yeah. I'm not even going to negotiate with you. I'm going to say 80 quid. 85, I'm happy with, mate, to be yeah, honest with you. You're a good lad, mate. You're always fair. That's a fair price, that is, for a fair toy. Thanks, man. Thank you. I love that. First purchase done. It might not be for the show, but it's a good one. I like it a lot. I broke my door, but I need to buy something for the, the show thing, and I can't, I can't put that in, it's 85 quid, I can't put that in. Anyway, if only I had a stall to put it back on. Hey, up, Steve. James, can I ask you to put that back behind for me? Let's go back to the shop. Thank you, darling. Nice, isn't it? Very good. Hey, I bought you that t-shirt. That's a t-shirt I bought you as a present. <laughs> 55. It's not going any lower, you. I bought you them glasses. <laughs> and them teeth. Hey, 50 quid, that's it. 50 that's quid? Done. I'm having it. 50 quid. 50 quid. So, Battle of the Planet, Sky Tank, in a box. I've not even checked it yet, but it's 50 quid. I've got to buy that. That's, that's half my budget gone. I've got to buy that. That's awesome. 50 quid for a box sky tank, people. What a bargain. Thanks, Timmy. You're welcome, mate. No problem. Flipping out. Right. I want to see it fetch 100. Yeah, well, you're... <laughs> you're not letting me live this down. So down here, I've spotted this guy with a tray full of really, like, bad yet amazing bootlegs. Turtles, Superman, a little bit of everything. It's a weird bundle. Here we go, here we go. Look how gnarly these turtles are. There's one with some sunglasses on. Look, <sighs> Look at him, just a fiver. If you're being the bootleg game, that's a fiver, a bargain. Look at that guy there. Look how ripped he is, look at that chest. 20 quid. These as well. Now this, as I walk by, he's like, Gav, I've got the thing for you. Marble blasters. <laughs> now, I do love them, I'm not gonna lie but I am the only one probably who loves these. They just shoot a marble just out the front there. You pop your thumb in, shoot the marble out, dangerous. Have someone's eye out with that. Really cool though, 1996. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, here it is. Here's the main event. Rambo. <laughs> Look at him for seven quid. Oh. I don't think he's going to do well in my reselling thing, but he's amazing. He's the best thing I've seen so far. <laughs> oh, look, the size of his eyes. Not tempted. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I quite like that Spidey. I tell you what, you know, I do like this Spidey. I'm going to have him. This is going to be my first purchase, this rubbish Spider-Man. Look at this Robocop. I don't think it's Robert Cop, the famous bootleg Robocop, but he is good, isn't he? And he's a tenor. We'll see if we can do something on him, but I already know a guy who'll be very interested in this. 
Let's go and find out. Do me a tenner. Oh, yes, you need to. Yeah, there you go. Getting the deals already. Here's the deal of the day. Keep watching Toy Shop yep. on tour. Keep watching Toy Shop on tour. Right then, I saw earlier as we were wandering around a baggy foot. Here we go, here it is. I look like these are the kind of bags you find in charity shops, and sometimes there is gems. Now, look at this. This is three pounds. Look at the amount of rubber dinosaurs you got in there. It's this guy here. This guy's selling me with these teeth. And there's a little, some kind of little clockwork one there. Another one with these sharp teeth. This looks like some kind of aquarium thing. But for three pounds, I'm gonna have a crack at that. That's, that's an interesting bag for three quid. Has he got anything else? Let's have a look. Bit of Dragon Ball there. Some little bits. Mm, not sure there. Some weird little cars. What'll happen here as I'll say things like that? Oh, weird little cars. Someone will spot that and be like, that's an hundred pound vehicle in that bag. In that one pound bag. <laughs> and a load of animals. Nope, I think it's just gonna be the bag full of dinos. I think that's a wicked bag for three quid. Awesome. Oh, how much are they? Uh, four pounds each. Four pound each. Yeah. Oh, they're good, aren't they? Yeah. It's a shame they don't sing, isn't it? Oh. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh. Can I give you that seven pound back for them? Yes. <laughs> there you go, 20 pounds spent, loads of items already. I think it might be, although quantity over quality didn't do me well last time, did it? This time could be different. <laughs> oh, that was going to be annoying. <laughs> I'm going to regret that. I've only bought one thing. Oh, I've bought lots of things. I've blown half Lit my budget. I, I must have, blimey. Oh, that worries me. That does worry me. Right. That's probably all its money. 45, 50 quid. It's 100 years old. It's German, I think, made by Kellerman. Um, it's 100 years old. Like 100 years old. It's older than me. I need to um, see what if you can. It's a 25 quid item for me to make a bit out of, I think. Could be way off on this. It's a really left field thing. Uh, it's pre war. It's Kellerman, or it's, it's a penny toy. It's very like Kellerman. There's a couple of bits over there there's that, and there's the pram. I like the pram. I like the pram. Both really nice. Should it have a little baby in it? I think it should. A tin plate baby, yeah. no, no. Well, it's, it's got Gate. a little slot and a little dint. Like the baby was there, but it's now gone. That's really sweet though. They are really beautiful. And a few years ago, what you've got in your hands would be about 65, 85 respectively. So 65 on the pram, 85 on that, and they wouldn't have lasted 10 minutes. So in this depreciating market, Chris, 15 pound. <sighs> Go on then, send it to you. Thanks mate. There you go, Let's give you some money. Chris has never wanted to throw the baby out with the bath water. Oh. Right, let's go. Thanks, Chris. That's all right. Any stuff. So we're here with Craig with Craig's Toy Trove and Collectibles. He has some lovely, lovely right. high end stuff. And you always know Craig's stuff is in absolute mint condition. You'll be never in any doubt. Just take a look at what's on his table. Beautiful graded items. You're a fan of grading things, aren't you? Definitely. Yes. Yeah, no, no. All my, all my, my, my most of my own personal collection is graded now, so. Oh, I bet, I bet you've you got a display room now. No, not oh, quite. Oh, you quite. need to sort it so not, we can come not, and see you. Not quite, not quite just <laughs> yet, but uh, hopefully, hopefully moving forward. There you go. It'll be something I'll definitely be looking at doing. Awesome, we'll make that happen. Bag of pony and assorted accessories. Shoes, all sorts. I don't know. How, how much is that bag, love? Three pounds. Three pounds a bag? Yeah. I'll buy her at that. Thank you very much. I love that. Excellent. 
three pound bag of pony bits. Don't really know what I'm buying there, but there's a lot of stuff for three pound, isn't there? Got no change. Ooh, sorry, you got any change? Thank you. This is cool. Shop stop your big rooms. <laughs> you don't want to use one. The market's dropped out of that. <laughs> you could say the bottom dropped out. Yeah, the bottom dropped out of the market. <laughs> That's amazing. That's really cool. That's wicked, man. That's ace. Can I have a look at that, mate? Is that all right? Yeah, it's all there. 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 It's Missing the pens in a few little bits. Yeah. They would license anything, really. This is a... Uh, Disappointing toy, but a cool item. It's one of those. It's not really a toy, it's a design centre uh, that you could basically draw with and do different things. It's, it's very cool, but it's, um, yeah, limited. It's been a while since I've had one. 30 quid just seems very cheap. Very cheap indeed. It's cool, you get it out. Little ruler. Uh, see if he's got his other arm. It's really cool, it's a good price. It's a nearly one, that. I'm quite fond of these as well, which is never a good thing, because then you're buying it just because you quite like it. Beautiful, just for the artwork alone. It's lovely, that is. Oh, I regret not buying that, won't I? But that's my decision. I'm not buying it. Yeah, how much is your Tom Land figure, mate? 40. 40? No sticker, I think the next. Yeah. Can I take him out if you mind? Yeah. So I love Tom Land figures, as we know. He's next got a little bit gone here. He's not half right. bad. Right. Is there any movement on that? Uh do 38. Been out. Great man, it's a good price as well. You'll sell it. Yeah. I'm only being tight since this challenge thing. Yeah. I've got him already myself. Right, okay. I'm gonna put him back for now, but that's yeah, cool, no, man. No Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I thought I'd found a winning cheap mumra there. Ten pound for a mumra with his hat is really floppy, though. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna buy him. But now Joe's not around. I bought something really cool over here. This here is, it needs a bit of a clean, a bit, bit of love and care, but this is the very first Werebear. They reissued them and re-released them, but this is the very first. Look at him, how cool is he? He had 25 quid on him, got him for 20. I think he'll sell really well. With a bit of a clean, very nice. I also got something for myself. Dottie from Raggy Dolls. And she was like 18 pounds, which is a bargain. You do not find these anywhere. I've got nearly a full set now. Exciting. Rosie and Jim, isn't it? Very reasonably priced, but I don't know enough about it. Gav would know. That's one of the mistakes you make, there's some brainy brain playing with you going, but Gav will buy them and they might be worth, and that might be the thing that takes them over the line. I'm now getting paranoid, I've got that thing now, I'm going, I don't think I'm going to win. I'm, like, I'm actually having a crisis of confidence. I need to pull something out of the bag. How are we doing, bud? How, how much is the... Uh, Actually, of course, headquarters you're building. It's not on plane. No. I'm going to do it at 55. 55 quid. When you say it's not complete, what's it missing? Door. Yeah. Um, the chutes. Yeah. Um, the ladder. Yeah. But it's got that, two of those. 
So you don't have to build it, I'm just thinking for you. 45. 45 quid. Could be 40. Have to be really, I don't know, it'd have to be really 45 because... 40 in a cuddle? <laughs> 60 in a cuddle? Oh no! Um, no, I'll do 45 for you. Because yeah, sure. you were out of that, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do 45 yeah. for you, man. Yeah, I'll have it off you. That's not part of the competition. That's just for me to take back. It's quite, I love the H4 headquarters. It's one of my favourite places. Just an awesome thing and very underappreciated. Where else can you buy a 1980s playset, no, no matter what the condition is, of a main toy line for 45 quid? Amazing. All right, I'm hoping this is cheap. It's a Hot Wheels, Peugeot 205, T16. I'm sorry, did a tenner for you. Tenner? Right. So I've got, oh, let me just work out. I've got, Could you do it for seven? You've got what? It's just got, that sentence. So it's ten pound, but you won't do it for seven. Gav won't let me, look, he's telling me no. I can oh, take, take it off card and do it for seven. Do thirteen. Yeah, do thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping. It's not as good as the matchbox one, look, it's really ugly. Got the back end all wrong. Go on, I'll do it for a tenner then. Tenner, go on, I'll risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. 32, so that means I've got 22 pound left. Batman Ninjas, no. I don't know if it was a TV show or just from the comics. It looked, look at Batman in it though. He looks weird. I might have find out a bit more about it. I like it though, because it's, it's not very dark night though, is it? <laughs> a bit neon, neon nights. <laughs> Amazing. It's got straps on it and everything. This is so cool. I think it might be. It's brilliant. I'll tell you what. Shattered glass, Optimus Prime. Shattered glass. What? Yeah, what so is it from? Tell me about Shattered it. Shattered glass is an alternate universe where the Autobots are evil and the Decepticons oh. are fighting for the cause of good. Oh, and they all have a different colour scheme, and I, I quite like the Optimus Prime. He looks cool. It he looks, looks good cool in purple, in purple doesn't he? he? Really does. Yeah. I really need to find a few more bits. I've not got much money left. You've got much money left. I've got quite a chunk left, yeah. This always happens, doesn't it? Which way are you going? The opposite way to you. Yeah, good. Right answer. <laughs> Gav, how much stock to do, little? One million. Mm. Uh, 25. 25 quid? How much money have I got left? I've got 20 I've got 22 pounds left. I've got 22 pounds left. Did I say 35? No, but I've only got 22 pounds left on my challenge. You do 22. Okay. And like, I'll give you a cuddle. Can I have 20 and miss it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you 22. Thanks, Gav. That's amazing, man. Monster in my pocket lunchbox. And look, how cool is it? It's, it's not in the best shape, but it's not about the lunchbox. It's about the flask. I can, I can hear it in here. Look at the artwork on that flask. Absolutely fantastic. That is all the monster in my pockets. Look at the wolf guy. And this guy here. How cool is that? That's really nice. A-wing fighter. 
Enterprise Room app. Yep. Inners. Yep. They kept up spring though. Yes, I'd like to have a look at it. So that's what it's about, the planetary yeah. map. Oh yeah. Very good. Can we get that? Can we open that up? Rip. <laughs> so cool. Oh, it's been a while since I've had one of these, actually. Ah, nice piece, just on its own. It's worth some money. Now then, yeah. the main event. Any damage to the undercarriage? Yeah, not that I'm aware of, but you can certainly... Do the ultimately disappointing electrics work? Yeah, they would do. We checked them last night. Yeah. It looks pretty much on you, is that yeah. it? Yeah. What's the what's the what's the price? Well, as I said, I think I think for a retail, which I'm not asking retail, so, um, I think retail it's probably between a grand and twelve hundred. Okay. You'd agree with that? Well, I'm probably a bit out of date on my prices, but yeah. I mean, I've not had one in for a good couple of years now. I think it'd be a stretch to get a grand out of that, even in the yeah. shop now, especially now. It's like 900 quid, I think. It's got to be that sort of figure to buy, to sell. I just kind of, but I might be wrong, because I might be out of date. Yeah. Remember, I'm, I'm old school, so I'm looking at things. I'm still, yeah. I remember buying one off Tim Stevens for 450 quid going, this is so expensive, I can't believe it. <laughs> Sealed. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. a long time ago, but... But they don't, as, as you said, they don't come up either, do they? It's, no, not in the UK. No. They don't come up. What could you do? That's the jumping off point. Yeah, I've, to be honest, I think I'd be... Bottomed out at 8.50. 8.50. Yeah. And I, I think there is. You might have to wait for the right guys to come through. Yeah. But I think there's a good. I think I think it's I think it's the right price for someone like that. But I, yeah. it's not for me that. But it's worth yeah, it. No and that's lovely. And it's one of my favourites. Right? It really <laughs> is one of my favourites. So here at Doncaster today, we've got something that's a real. It is genuinely in the UK. It's a rarity. There's not too many of them about. Look how shiny that is. He wouldn't last like that on the streets of Detroit, would he? <laughs> he talks as well. Oh, what's that voice going to be like? That's not going to be from the film, is it? <laughs> They're going to have made something up there. Oh, he's got four kinds of sound. It makes a, a police siren. So what they've done, <laughs> they've took a standard police toy and stuck it in this Robocop, Robocop body. Super titanium alloy armor. <laughs> Able to change freely? Or into another outfit? <laughs> I don't know what well, that means. It's cool though, isn't it? Look at that, it's got the uh, the official Robocop artwork on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's just come over. This is up your street, Gav. It's not wrong. <laughs> Michael Jackson dress up set. Oh. Oh, you, you can't see what's in there. It's going to be like a paper doll, isn't it? With lots of dress ups. Oh, that's fantastic. Plastic outfits that stick like magic. <laughs> right, I'm down to my last 25 pound and I'm really, really struggling. It's slim pickings at this show this time. What he's done is called in the help of an expert to help him. You can't spend this last bit of money. Where is he? I don't know, we're gonna get him in a minute. <laughs> I've just spotted in Jay's box, young Tigra. He's cool, isn't he? He's completely different to the other one, completely different head. He's great. He's a bit rough and ready, but like, if I can get him for like about a tenner or something, I can make, make a bit of money on him. Let's see what we can do. Young Tigra. Hey, mate, how are you? He's cool, isn't he? It's not priced, is he? It's not priced. That's about a tenner for you. <laughs> Perfect, nice thank you, one. sold. Nice one, there we go, that's just what I said, tenner. Nice one. Now these, I was not into sports ever, but I collected these little helmets as a kid. And like, I've seen them on the groups, they're getting more popular these are, and they're looking like they're in good shape. 15 quid. 
What are you doing for a tenner? Yeah, why not? It's to get one over on Hey, there you go. That's what it's about. Awesome. Ten pound. I'll take them. Nice one. You've got some good bits on there. I'm going to carry on having a look. Smash it. Oh, no. Are they all complete? No. Oh. Smash it's 86. There we go. What we got? Oh, I see. Whoever had these was good at sticking stickers in. As well, they're massive stickers. Look at them. Look at all these 90s favourites. There they go, though. This is what I'm talking about. Not good. Come on. Make the effort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I quite like that. This is a really good stall. I'm finding some good stuff. So I've got the helmets already. But we found a massive bag of Manta Force parts. Now, part slots tend to do quite well. So I might take a chance on them. And this looks like zero hour in here. Yeah, all Bluebird toys. So, and I've been told that I can have both of these bags for just 10 pounds. 10 English pounds. 10 English pounds. How can I not have them for that? I'm on it. There we go. I've got a fiver to spend. What you got for a fiver? That's a lovely little set, but I like that for myself. When you can have that and an antenna for a fiver. Sold. <laughs> there we go. Done. There you go. Sorted. That's all the money spent. That's crazy. That is a crazy amount of items. So, <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> We've had a great time at Doncaster we Toy have, Fair. We really have. It's really good. However, I couldn't pull that deal over the line for that A-wing. Oh, it's a shit. It was lovely. It was okay. It was. It was a nearly one. It was yeah. one of those ones. It was nearly. I'd. I'd have it in my collection. Like yeah, that, same. Quite happily. Same, but it's just you know for that yeah. sort of you've got to be. It's got to be that good. I but think that I box would have ironed out. But what did you buy today, Gav? I bought an absolute mountain of stuff for my money this time. You have. And I think I've done all right. I think you've done well. It could be all right this time. So, first up, first thing I bought was this massive plastic bag full of dinosaurs. You know, rough with the smooth, three pound a bag. There's some rough in there, isn't there? <laughs> oh, there is, definitely. Is there any smooth? Yeah, there's some smooth. Is there? I spotted a couple in there, and that's why I bought the bag. All oh, right, well done. Then I went down a bootleg train. This Spider-Man. <laughs> the police have caught him. <laughs> His hands are, is he one of the, I think he's one of the, is he one of the ones you he's hang not, up? He's not, oh yeah, look, like he has Christmas got a little thing there. Like it's a bounce like that, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, bounce, I think he's, bounce. he's out of a, he's of his time. Not Robert Cop. Oh man. But look at that. And we know a man who's gonna love that. We do know a man that would like that very <laughs> much. Yeah, that's cool. So as well, I've got a couple of Sun Gold figures. Cool. They're always good. Mummy and the Frankenstein there. And okay, off the bootlegs onto a quality figure. And our friend Jay did me a deal, ten pound. Young That's tiger. A bargain for a young tiger. Fully working. I know he's a bit scruffy, but he's a young tiger man. Exactly, he's he doesn't tough. come up all the time, does he? No, no, he's not not one you see all the time. So I'm happy with him. He's a good one. He should be for a tenner. Now this one, I love this. Now this is the very first howling werebear. They changed them and, you, and put the uh, thing in the paw, but here he goes. But I paid 20 quid for him. He needs a bit of a clean up. He's not great, but I think he'll do a little bit. But I just had to have him because he's the original it's howling, bag, isn't it? howling werebear. Yeah. What else you got? I'm really keen. This is, this is awesome. Okay. Plush, I've got some banana splits. Well, can't go wrong. It's been going off in my bag all day, annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> been all the way home in the van. Yep, I got a little bit of Lego. Cool. Got a good deal on that. This is great. Look at this. Snaps vintage bag. Wow. How cool is that? I now want some tomato snaps. <laughs> I think that was a fiver. Some of these little uh, collectible helmets. They're cool. From like the 80s. Them. They were good. I think they were a tenner. ET phone antenna. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Probably not Pass a big over seller, then. but there we go. Pass over then. We're nearly there. Now, I think this is my best purchase of the day. So I've got both these bags for a tenner. Wow. In one bag, all Manta Force spares. But cool. also, I noticed, look, yeah. this is G.I. Joe. 
Yeah, it's rubbish, but no, the man's force You know, spares them. though, nose cone, rockets, spares lots. We know they're good. Yeah, and in the other true. bag, zero hour, the monorail. Oh, flipping out. Monorail parts, all for a tenner. So I think that's probably where I'm most likely to do all right, I think, out of everything. You but might. we'll see, you never know. So what have you got? Right, I'm going to tell you, take you through the things, because I bought a couple of things for the shop as well, as you know. But, you know, I, I bought some stuff for, the, for this. So my first purchase, and I feel, I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've dropped a clanger, because I spent 50 quid straight away. <laughs> and I bought this uh, Poppy Sky Tank. Oh, it's Bandai. Nice though, that is. It's, it's lovely. It needs a bit of tidying up on the box, but we'll try and do that if we get a chance. And we've got, is the toys okay? You know, it's all right, it was 50 quid. I think there's money in it. I also got this off uh, Batesy for a tenner. Hey. So that was good. I, he did let, he did take that. He said he can for seven if you want. But I was like, <laughs> no, 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 10's fine. The bargain, man. This was my last spend, this was 22 pound. Wow. I love that toy, I think it's great. And if it doesn't sell, I don't care. I love it, it's yeah, fantastic. It great. Three pound, a load of My Little Pony accessories. I went down the same route as you. Yeah, that's good. Three pound, My Little Pony accessories. I think, I'd like, tenner maybe. So I think it's small yeah, profit maybe, there. Maybe I might have to nick one of them combs for my pony grooming area at work. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, and this, Chris from Metropolis was kind enough to do this for 15 pounds for me. It's 100 years old. And watch that absolutely bomb and nobody want it. But it's I nice think it's though. really cute, that is a it's really item, sweet. Yeah. And that's what I bought for the thing. So that made my 100 pound up. Uh, but other things I bought, so for Noah, my little boy, I bought that. Yeah. Super Mario Brothers, Hot Wheels. So Noah will be stoked for that, he'll be so excited. For 25 pounds, off camera, this is great. And this one's always bust. The brownie gold plastic brakes, it's one of them things. And I just thought for 25 pounds, a knockoff He-Man, Galaxy Hero G-Man. We've flat. had these in before. They're rubbish, but yeah. brilliant at the same time. This is, was a great buy, this is £45. Action Force headquarters, not a chance to build it, but it's worth comfortably more than £45. And I've got a couple of the extra bits it's missing somewhere. The Outlaw, which I think was a great buy, £85, bought with that Outlaw, and that was, you know, there's some good money in that. I'm going to tidy up, put the other missile that's missing with it. Bob's your uncle. Jeff's your aunt, call it what you will. So now, these have all been put on eBay. You can go and have a look and bid. What and now? Right now, they are on eBay, right now. For them? For them, not now, now for us, obviously, because they're right here. Right. Not now, now, then. Soon. <laughs> you have to explain things very simply to me sometimes. <laughs> so yes, so you can go and bid on them, and obviously- There's a link below. What I would say about Gav's stuff, it's not as good as mine. But I, th I think you've done amazingly well. Got I, a, I got a lot for my money there. That I'm last surprised. bit, that last bit was a 25 pound. Yeah. Man, you did well. I know. That wow. Was, uh, fingers crossed anyway. That's like I say, I know. You never so get know. get a bit in, people. These could be yours, these quality items. 